has a shot, but the judges are going to be looking for a lot more personality than she's showing them right now. And so, at the conclusion of day one, national champ Kelly Parker maintains a narrow lead over Pace and Keeler. And with another day of competition, there's still plenty of time for surprises. Who will make this year's national team? You know, ironically, it's Payson's roommate, Kaylee Cruz, who's within striking distance, but she's got to be reeling right now. By the slimmest of margins, Kaylee Cruz is the new national all-around gymnastics champion. And the first NFL game to be played this season at the LA Coliseum will be a preseason game between the Cowboys and the Rams on August the 13th. Hey, Mike Trout, um, what's the weather report for today? Uh, it's same as yesterday, same as last month. Um, Welcome to Southern California. Yeah, actually, Monday is supposed to rain. I saw that. Years ago, we used to look things up in an encyclopedia, but today we simply Google it. So how do students learn on their smartphones in the classroom? Since, let's face it, every single one of them have a phone. And that's what we like to hear. The Dodgers are 51 and 26 at the halfway mark. They have the best record in the National League. My question is, can they stay there? And now moving on to the Clippers. Now, this is a team that's up and down, but mostly up. They came out playing like they were out of their minds and they hit kind of a wall, okay? But it's all about defense. Now on to the Dodgers, which started out with fireworks in the form of Yasiel Puig. Before any trades were made, Puig's agent was told that Puig would more than likely be traded. We are here in Sonoma, last race of the season with Graham Rahal. Graham, this is going to be the actual last race here for quite some time. Um, just your thoughts on this track, leaving it, and going into Laguna Seca next year. Well, I've always, I love coming to Sonoma.